my queen. <laughs> back, my bang it up. <laughs> Welcome. Today we'll be talking about our new ancient Egyptian cultural settlement. But first, make sure to click on the red button below and subscribe to this channel. Oh gods, how could I let our kingdom's finances get so bad? Well, I did mention something to you about it last month, my queen. But you said it would all be okay. I guess maybe you were just in denial? Kurt, this is no time for bad puns. We're in serious trouble here. <sighs> I'm sure it'll be okay, my queen. Something will turn up. It always does. I'm not so sure this time, Kurt. You must go and find a solution to this matter. Seek help from other kingdoms if you must. Yes, my queen. Heed the call of Queen Nefertiti and join her in battle on the banks of the River Nile. Help her establish a city and defend it from her enemies, securing your place among the history books. Just like the Vikings and feudal Japan, Follow the ancient Egyptian questline to progress your settlement to victory. Collect Deben from residential buildings like the luxury estate or the multi-story clay house. You can also collect some Deben from your embassy every day. Just like in Japan, Deben can also be produced in some diplomacy buildings like the divine statue or the pyramid. My queen, I found the answer to all our problems. You have? I have indeed. You see, on my travels, I encountered a fellow who, for a small fee, offered me the business opportunity of a lifetime. Okay. Now tell me, what in this wonderful age is the best way to display your success to others? A giant statue of yourself. Oh, that is good. Uh, okay, then what is the second best way? I don't know. With smell! What? The smell of success, pheromone, for men. You bought a bottle of perfume? No, not just one bottle, no, hundreds. I bought into a business opportunity where I can sell this perfume to everyone in the land. Just like previous settlements, the Egyptian settlement also comes with four brand new cultural goods buildings, such as the flower farm, which produces beautiful flowers for your settlement and the place of prayer, which earns the favor of the gods with sacrificial offerings. But in ancient Egypt, there's a twist. Cultural buildings use a new resource, loot, to produce goods. Keep watching to find out more. You see, I sell the perfume to everyone in the land, and I pay a small percentage of what I make to the fellow who is gracious enough to introduce me to this wonderful opportunity. So you paid a fee up front and you have to pay a percentage of all the money you make from selling the perfumes. Yes, it's brilliant, right? And what's more, I can even recruit people to sell the perfume on my behalf, just as I did for this fellow. This sounds ridiculous. I want you to get rid of all the bottles of perfume and figure out a real way to fix our problem. Yes, my queen. There's something strangely familiar about this shape. The biggest change with ancient Egypt is its focus on battles. After completing the first quests, you'll open the siege camp situated inside a pyramid on the outskirts of the settlement. The siege camp offers you three battles to complete each day. An easy, medium and hard battle with varying rewards. Each battle one earns you loot, which you can use to create cultural goods. But you're not going to use your tanks against ancient Egyptian warriors. <laughs> that wouldn't be fair. The Egyptian settlement comes with its own set of five units, such as the mounted camel archer and the war elephant. These can be trained in military buildings, which you unlock as you progress. I did it, my queen. I sold all of them. What? The perfume. Pheromone. For men. I got rid of them all. You mean people actually bought them? That's right. In fact, one man took 50 from me to sell for himself. Wow. I must really apologize, Kurt. I was overly skeptical about the whole idea, but it seems you were right about this. Is there any chance I can still get in on this deal? I'll contact the fellow who offered me the opportunity and see if he has any left. 
That is the small matter of the fee, of course. Of course. Take all the gold from the treasury and buy as much of it as you can. Right away, my queen. Another big change in the settlements this time around is that you can now find pickaxes, which you can use to remove impediments. Impediments can be found in the form of ancient runes scattered throughout the desert. But be careful, there are a limited number of pickaxes available during each playthrough. Oh, here we go. A thousand boxes of pheromone. Oh, my back. I really should give my chiropractor a call. Oh, this smells revolting. I can't believe people are actually buying this stuff. Ah, well. From all the profit we'll be making from all of this, I doubt I'd even care about the smell. <laughs> exactly. I forgot to ask, how much profit did you actually make from selling all of yours? Well, nothing yet. What? Well, the guys who I sold them to didn't actually have any money with them at the time, but they assured me that they would get it to me as soon as they could. So you just gave it to them? Well, they, they seemed like trustworthy folk, and they were so happy about the opportunity. I, I even heard them laughing with joy as they ran away. So, what's in it for you? Well, let's take a look at this settlement's unique rewards. First up, you'll be able to grab yourself four new emissaries to boost your main city's town hall output each day. Secondly, the main reward building completing the settlement is the magnificent Royal Bathhouse, an upgradable building with six possible levels. At level six, the bathhouse produces coins, forge points, guild treasury goods, and random units when motivated. And last but not least, the second building you can earn from completing the settlement within the time limit, the monolithic ancient obelisk. This upgradable building with four levels produces coins, random goods, and forge points as well as boosting the defense of your main city's attacking armies. We hope you enjoy playing through our brand new ancient Egyptian cultural settlement. As always, let us know what you think in our forums and in the comments section below. And of course, if you haven't done it already, like this video and hit the notification bell to get updated whenever we post something new. Goodbye. <laughs>